Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video today to show off one of my favorite lock brands that's unfortunately not made anymore. It is the Anka uh, brand lock. You can see their logo right there. And they come in all different styles and sizes. And some of you might already know these because I've had them in my store before, but I just want to show them off for anyone who has not been able to see them. Uh, the, this style right here, this really heavy duty, anti-cut, thick shackle style is one of my favorite locks, really. Uh, you could see that, um, I've been using this one outside for quite some time, about over a year now, and it still works perfectly. Like these things are just really, really well made. Um, I can't believe that they don't make them anymore. They are tough reliable and just overall awesome locks. The mechanism used here is actually a four slider mechanism. You could see on the key that it is uh, has these four fins that push sliders down to specific depths uh, uh, for the uh, lock to get to shear line and open. So these Anka locks are really cool. Here's one that I think is really awesome too. This mini, mini 35 millimeter still has a super thick shackle. Now check this out. You know, if you needed to lock something really well, but have a small, just a small lock footprint, can you imagine this? Can you imagine if you locked something like this? Such a tiny lock, but so, so, you know, heavy duty still. Man, I love that. <laughs> so cool. Um, but this is actually not the first style of Anka lock. Uh, these came after this style, which is totally different. It's Here are the keys for it. You can still see that that is a Anka lock. And, but this one does not use a slider system. It uses a disc tumbler mechanism. And I know that's hard to see, but uh, if you see this little tab in the center here, let me zoom in, this little tab on the center here, and that will rotate, this is a disc, and that is what uh, allows the key to grab the disc to rotate it. So here is the key. Mm -hmm. And you're going to notice that the key looks very similar to a, a Lagarde 2200 safe key. And this has one, two, three, four, five cuts on it, but there's actually seven discs. So there's two zero cuts on this key. I think one at the back and one at the front, I, I believe. So... Uh, you would stick this in here and the that tab is going to go run down the center channel and Once that's fully inserted now when I turn the key I could feel that there's some tension I'm, I'm pushing on those discs and it, I'm going to push it all the way here and When those discs line up with the sidebar just like a abloy you it'll allow the sidebar to drop into the gates on the discs and release the shackle you could see the patent number here. The patent for this style of lock was, uh, I think, registered in 1991, 1990 or 1991. All right, guys, so I just grabbed a pick really fast to show you how these discs rotate. Uh, let me zoom in for you here. You can see the tab in the center there. I'm going to take this pick, and I'm just going to rotate this disc as far as it can go. There you go, it's all the way there. So you can see it started here and it can rotate all the way to there. And you can see some of the tabs for the other discs, seven of them. So uh, if you're interested in this type of mechanism and you wanna see some gut shots and uh, some uh, read some more details, there's an old Lock Picking 101 post about this lock. And I'll, I'll, I'll post a link to the uh, discussion in the description of the video so you could see that. Uh, yeah, some really cool pictures and some nice discussion about the history of disc tumbler locks and, you know, it compares this to some other styles. So, yeah. 
the Anka brand locks are some of my most favorite, and I hope you thought this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.